Hi, I'm Annalise Walker and I directed Matilda Maladroit and this is my director's commentary. <laughs> To begin with, I looked at the typical conventions of teenage comedies which tend to involve the main character being a female girl or of similar age range to the target audience, and they tend to make a fool of themselves during the film. They also tend to be set in schools or have themes of high schools and they tend to include a dilemma or problem that is resolved during the content of the film. I found a couple of other films that I would count as similar to mine in terms of teenage comedy magic sort of side to it. Um, which are Freaky Friday, which is directed by Mark Waters, which was made in 2003, and Just My Luck by Donald Petrie in 2006. Um, these films influence my decisions of how to portray the magical twist in my short film. For example, in Freaky Friday, they use a wobbly effect to portray her change um, happening, whereas in Enchanted, they use effects to make her change appear without the use of with the use of not seeing her it actually happen. Um, in mine, I used an effect from Final Cut Express to display that something was happening. I also used an effect to make the time go faster by rippling the image of the clock and moving it to a new scene in my production. I think that by doing this and by having a storyline that involves a twist such as this, it develops the normal teenage conventions. I think that I have used the typical forms and conventions of real media products by immediately introducing the main character at the beginning, which is a common theme in teenage comedies, such as other films like Freaky Friday. Um, it is an effective way to get the audience's attention straight away on the main character, and in my short film I also use the typical convention of having a female age the same age as the target audience. And I did this because it is one of the most prominent conventions of teenage comedies and it allows the target audience to relate better to the character. I think that my short film challenges the usual forms and conventions because my genre tends to include a dilemma in them or a problem that is resolved during the content of the film. But mine challenges this because it has a dilemma, however it is not anything to do with your typical teenage comedy, it's not about friendships or boys, it's like about magic changing a person. I feel so stupid all the time, I wish that just for one day I could be normal, no clumsiness at all and then everyone else could experience how I feel all the time. I can't help it, it's who I am, but for just one day. I think that my audience feedback has helped me to complete my project because a lot of the ideas in my short film have been developed from audience feedback. Uh, my first piece of audience feedback was a questionnaire that I created to try and gain some understanding of what the target audience would like or want to see in the film. Um, the uh, target audience being aimed at teenagers in general but possibly mainly girls um, that were probably enjoy other films such as Freaky Friday, as I've said earlier. Um, but my questionnaire consisted of four questions, which were, what is the clumsiest thing you've ever done? Um, if a story was based around a really clumsy girl, what would you name it? Do you like the idea of turnaround magic in a film? Um, what would you like to see in a film? Um, from my questionnaire, I got some really good responses, but which I, I use some of them in my short film, such as the clumsy incidents. You right, mate? I also asked two teenagers to view my short film, a female age 15 and a male age 13. Uh, the verdict, in short, was that the film was entertaining but a little boring at times. Um, both, had seen, both had not seen any planning for the film at all and were of the target audience. There are certainly elements from my audience feedback in my short film, especially from my questionnaire. Uh, I tried to include as much as, my, as possible from my questionnaire in my short film. From the first question I got lots of responses that formed the basis of all the clumsy incidents I wanted to happen in the short film. Uh, a good example is when my character Matilda Maladroit walks into the classroom and falls straight over a chair because that was actually suggested by her because she thought it would be fun to do. Um, the second question was not 
very helpful because I got a lot of ridiculous responses such as ouch and clumsy land which wouldn't fit the film very well or the character. Um, I also included a few elements from the last question such as the twist at the end of the film and I included lots of aspects of comedy to it. My ancillary tasks encourage people to watch my short film because they both use similar techniques that mean that my short film and ancillary tasks represent each other and use cross-media fertilisation. My film poster especially links to it and has elements that immediately connect it with the short film. An example of this is the title on the poster which is taken from the short film as is the image of the two people falling over above the production company. With the magazine review, I decided to write a descriptive summary of the short film to allow readers to understand the logic of the film better and I also wrote about bits about the actors and the foundations of my ideas for the film so it really gives an insight to the reader about how it was done and why. One feature length film I found that is similar to my short film is Enchanted um, which was directed by Kevin Lima in 2007 which has a storyline about a Disney fairy tale princess who lives in a cartoon world and she's sent to our world by an evil queen and she becomes human and it follows her journey as she's trying to go home um, but she falls in love instead and it's similar to mine because in my short film it's based around turnaround magic where overnight she makes a wish and it comes true and mine's also based on a female character as the main character which seems to be a typical convention of the genre uh, which is comedy sort of teenage fantasy um, I also had a look at the film poster for Enchanted to see if there are any major similarities and I found that my short film poster was fairly similar for example the background in my poster is black and white and in the Enchanted poster it is in blue and white sort of grayscale colours um, they both then have the main character in colour in the foreground which attracts attention to them and it defines them immediately as the main characters I use lots of technologies from starting this short film coursework piece. Um, I did find it hard to grasp last year, but it's helped me to develop my skills to this project. Um, during the research of my short film, I used the internet to find out about short film via articles and reviews, and I also looked at some local cinema magazines, which I scanned into the Macs to analyse. Um, during our planning stage, I used the method of blogging again to document all the stages and processes I went through. And when I was writing the blogs, I did find it a bit hard to decide the context of what to put in the post, but I tried to include only what I needed to and the main points. Um, however, I did find it easier this year to keep blogging all the time because I was much more used to it. My construction stage was when I really started to use media technologies. Firstly I used still cameras to take photos of my storyboard to then put into iMovie to create an animatic. Um, I also needed to record the voiceovers for the animatic so I had to use a voice recorder. Um, then once my animatic was completed I started to use video cameras to film my footage and a tripod to keep the camera steady. Um, the footage I then imported into Final Cut Express on the Macs ready to start editing. I also had to create a score for my production using GarageBand and um, whilst I did this I also carried on blogging throughout the whole process. Um, the Apple Macs are much better compared to a normal computer for this kind of thing um, because of the software on them. Final Cut was very good for the editing stage because of the various different tools and effects available to use to me. It made it much easier to create what I wanted while sticking to my storyboard. Uh, for example, in mine I used a couple of transitions, one where the clock ripples and also when she goes to bed and makes the wish. For the evaluation, I did it in the style of a director's commentary. Uh, I used the video camera, obviously, uh, to film interviews and I used Final Cut Express to put it all together. Um, and I think it's a really clever way to evaluate instead of doing an essay because you can talk freely and it's also a good experience to have done it in the form of a director's commentary.